Hello, and welcome to Manta's Content Marketing Academy. This pro-level course picks up where the first video in the series left off, and will provide you with proven content marketing tactics for your small business. This course will provide an overview of the different types of digital content you can use to market your small business. Each course in this academy series was built using research and guidance from Manta's content marketing team and accepted best practices in the content marketing industry. Let's begin with a recap of how we defined content marketing in our first video. Content marketing is the practice of using articles, videos, photos, and interactive digital tools to develop a trusting relationship with your customers and potential customers as they move through their purchasing decisions. Your goals with content marketing are to be there when a potential customer is searching for your products or services online, including on mobile. Engage them on your website and social media with content that is useful and relevant. Convert them into a customer and nurture a long-term relationship. When we talk about content in this course, we're focusing on digital content that you'd host on your company website or blog, send in an email, or post on your social media profiles. There are many different types of content you can use to engage your customers through those channels. We're focusing on five content marketing methods that are cost and time effective here. These five types of content have proven effective and are relatively simple for a small business owner to execute on their own. They are articles and blogs, videos and photos, infographics, research, including white papers, guides, and ebooks, and interactive content, like surveys, polls, contests, and augmented reality apps. Let's unpack each of these five basic types of content, starting with articles and blogs. Articles will help you share your business story and offer your expert advice on your industry to your customers. There are different types of articles you can write. You can use all of them or pick the formats that are best for you and your target audience. We'll begin with how-to lists. How-to lists are very useful for all types of small businesses, from home contractors to medical practices, beauty salons, and accountants. These can be a simple list of steps for a process that you find your customers tend to ask about. For example, a contractor might post a how-to checklist on home maintenance that homeowners should do every year. An accountant might post a how to keep your records in order for tax season article. A dentist might post a tutorial on how to keep your teeth healthy between visits. These type of articles go a long way towards showing your customers you're there to help them. Keep lists as long as they need to be to get your information across. Lists can be as short as 150 words or as long as a thousand for more comprehensive how-tos. Sharing the story of your business, how it started, or a customer's success story helps your audience form a bond with your business. Exercise your storytelling muscles. Keep it entertaining and around 500 words. Q&As are good for profiling your business partners, a longtime employee, or an expert in your field. Q&As should be between 300 and 700 words, easy to read, and help your audience gain a deeper understanding of a certain element related to your business. Opinion pieces should be reserved for important issues that affect your business or your customers. These should be written by you, the owner, or a high-level expert or manager in one of your company's divisions. Make your point, but keep it brief and professional. These articles can help establish you as a thought leader in your field or in your community. News style articles where you quote published expert opinions or conduct your own original interviews with people can help you keep your customers up to date on a topic of interest while establishing you as being in the know about timely developments in your industry. These articles can be longer, anywhere from 300 to 2,000 words. In general, your articles and blogs can range from 150 up to 2,000 words depending on which format you choose. Remember to proofread your articles for grammar, spelling, and typos, and maintain a professional tone that reflects your business and appeals to your customers. There's lots more to cover on this topic, including the ways you can use photos and videos to improve your articles, and SEO tactics that will help your content be seen by more potential customers. We'll come back to that as we take a deeper look in the next course. But next, let's look at using photos and videos to improve your articles or as standalone content. 
You can take your own photos with a good digital camera or your smartphone. You can also download stock images from Shutterstock or iStock for relatively low cost. Or, if you have a budget, you can hire your own photographer. You could also hire a videographer to shoot company videos. Or, if you don't have the budget, you can do it yourself using your smartphone and a movie editing program like iMovie from your own computer. How-to videos and product demos are a great place to start marketing your small business to your audience. Remember, people love visual images online. Stick to that instead of sticking only to text. Infographics are digital illustrations that present information, statistics, or other data in a way that makes it quickly understandable and pleasing to the eye. Infographics are great for showcasing your business statistics, data on your industry, or the solution you offer customers. For more advanced designers, you can make infographics using Adobe Illustrator, InDesign, or Photoshop. For beginners, you can start with online programs like Canva, Vengage, or PictoChart. Infographics will also help you share proprietary research, expertise, or advice on complex issues related to your business in larger content pieces, like white papers, which give fact-based advice on an issue or topic related to your industry, case studies, which analyze and demonstrate the success of a business operation that you've executed. Ebooks are guides that provide your customers with comprehensive information or DIY advice on a topic related to your business. Each of these formats allow you to present your proprietary information and unique advice in a robust way using charts, infographics, and illustrations to bulk up your message. These are best showcased on your website as downloadable PDFs. As you become adept at producing digital content, you can introduce advanced interactive content to your website and social pages. These interactive elements also help you capture information on users who are likely to become customers. Some content that will help raise awareness of your company with potential customers include holding contests or games on your social media profiles, this is a great way to inspire user-driven social media posts. For instance, a home services contracting company might run an Instagram contest, like post a photo of your ideal kitchen design. The photo with the most votes would win a free consultation. You could also try webinars and quizzes to engage potential customers and keep existing customers engaged. It provides them with an interactive learning experience. For an annual subscription fee, you can organize and host your webinars from a platform like Adobe Connect, GoToWebinar, or Cisco WebEx. Calculators and interactive assessments can help you engage potential customers who are trying to decide the best products or services to buy. They let your website visitors plug in their own data and receive an automatic calculation of a key metric related to the services they're looking for from you. This might include project cost assessments or return on investment calculators. And for the advanced content maker, augmented and virtual reality have really opened up a new path to engaging customers, especially younger customers. Pokemon Go, the augmented reality smartphone game, turned out to be a great marketing tool for driving traffic into businesses' brick and mortar locations. There's more information about different types of content marketing on Manta.com. Before we move to the final video in this Academy series, let's review some key points from today. There are five content marketing methods that are low cost and time effective for small business owners. They include articles and blogs, videos and photos, infographics, research in the form of white papers, case studies, or eBooks, and interactive content, including contests, webinars, calculators, and augmented reality apps. Of course, to make any of this content successful, you have to make sure it gets seen by your target audience. The next and final video will provide tactics for distributing your content, including what kind of headlines work, and how to use keywords to boost your article's SEO. We'll also cover which channels are the best for getting your content in front of your desired customers. Are you looking for more advice on a different topic related to your business? For daily advice on small business marketing, finance, operations, sales, and management, we invite you to spend some time in the news and advice section on the Manta.com homepage. While you're there, sign up to receive weekly email updates with helpful operational and marketing advice. Manta empowers small businesses to be successful. 
Every day, thousands of owners like you gain expert advice, training, and practical resources through Manta articles, courses, and webinars. Is there a small business topic you'd like to read about on Manta.com? Send your suggestions to our editors at contentteam at manta.com or tweet us at at Manta. We'd love to hear from you.